All right, guys, this one here is a new arrival. I just picked this one up today. Here we have a Dodge pickup truck. And it has been sprayed yellow. Before that, it was blue. Before that, it looks like it was brown. Which is a shame, I like that color. Uh, obviously the bed is gone. Uh, he did have a wooden bed on it, but it rotted away. I actually had to pull this one out of the woods. Uh, pulled it out this morning and towed it back here. Uh, cab is pretty rough. Man, I really do like that copper color. It'd be nice if it was all that color. But like you like I said, the cab is rough. The whole roof is rotted out. So it is no good. But look at the dash. Now, like I said, this was in the trees. So it's been in the shade most of the time. But the dash does not have a crack. Well, this here usually does not crack. It more or less gets hot and deforms. It's got a little bit of a high spot right here where the sun has been getting to that spot. But the glove box cover, that usually cracks and I don't see a crack in that, which is pretty nice. Uh, and this is black dash. Uh, they did come in blue and I think red. Don't hold me to that, but I think red also. But I know they came in green, black, and blue. Uh, this truck is showing 31,772 miles. You're missing your radio. These are your heat controls. You got an oil gauge, alternator gauge, fuel gauge, temp gauge, speedometer. It does have a key. He said this vehicle ran and drove when he parked it. He just got tired of driving it and he bought a different truck. It is a three speed in the floor with an Indy Hearst shifter, which that is not going to be for sale because that is coming home with me. It's going to go in my truck. I actually have a few Dodges of my own. Uh, so this one here, I will be getting a few parts off of this. Man, I didn't, I didn't even look at that. I just stuck my shirt right into that greasy drive shaft. That's unfortunate. That's all right. Door panels look pretty good. They're dry. You'll have to sand them and repaint them. But manual doors, normal. Uh, I don't know what ratio the rear axle is. But it, it goes down the road fine. I towed it in. That's why I pulled the drive shaft. I think he said this thing had a straight six in it. Let me pop the hood. Hopefully we won't run into any wasps. Oh, let's see. I don't have any 70s models at the house. I call mine are 80s. You pop these from outside. I used to have a few of them, but I sold them all. Now I kind of wish I had them back. Yep. Straight six. Well, slant six. They call them slant sixes because they're kind of at an angle. And there's a battery fell down in there. That's wonderful. When have you ever seen an old battery like that? Excited. All right, uh, we'll probably see if this one runs. I'll check it here in a couple days. I, I'm pretty busy on inventory and hauling cars in right now, but the oil looks good. I do have a key. So if it's not stuck from sitting for so long, this one will probably fire right up. Radiator's still in it. And I guess they didn't know how to mask and tape before they sprayed because it's not supposed to be yellow. Basic truck, just an alternator. And it does have power steering. That's surprising. Uh, but that's it. Nothing else. 
alternator and power steering, no AC, does have power brakes. So we'll see if this one runs. I'll be curious if it does. It's a shame that the grill's not in better shape. But this hood looks pretty good. Nope, I lied. It's rusted. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. I'm really sorry about the wind, you guys. This this wind is bad today. So I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, but anyway, the fenders, the doors, the cab are no good. They're rusted. The bumpers have been spray painted or painted with a brush. So they're no good unless you strip them. Uh, rear bumper is no good. It's been all the crap. So you pretty much have a motor transmission and a dash column interior pieces. That's about it. Some glass. Not much there. Uh, the frame has been painted. It might clean up, but it does have some surface rust on it. Uh, last it was on the road was 2005, registered in North Carolina. Let's see what we can find in the glove box. Got some light bulbs, some gaskets. Looks like a shifter handle. Not much in here. Got a little screwdriver. That's about it. Yeah, see it's starting to crack. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not, but it's got a bunch of heat cracks in it, which is bad. But I mean, if someone's desperately needing one, it still looks decent, I guess. Ooh, this might be the owner's manual. Nope, definitely not a 2004 Ram truck. I was hoping he put the old owner's manual in this newer because they, they did not come with this in the 70s, so you can forget that. But obviously you did not put it in there. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching, and we'll find another car to get a video of while I can. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.